What town are we in? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we got a long ways to go, though. What? The history of the Camino is St. James and his bones were yeah. being brought to um, here to Spain, but they were shipwrecked. And just off the coast of Spain, when his body washed ashore, it was covered in shells. And uh, that's why you see oftentimes uh, everybody's carrying a shell on top of their on top of their bed. As a result, people kind of travel the Camino in order to kind of reflect on the journey that St. James made to Compostela and also to find kind of like answers to their problems or their challenges. And so since then people have taken a pilgrimage and walk about 500 miles in total starting in France and a lot of times they've done it for reasons of like penance or different people have different reasons, some religious, some not. See, my wife died in February so I decided to do the Camino. I want to be alone and need the time to think about myself. Expecting to just have a lot of time to think about a lot of things. You lose a lot of the experience if you travel in a group, so uh, I decided to split ways. There's um, very few people that start and that actually finish it. Hiking is definitely like not easy. Camino is no joke, and you should pack light and prepare to be tested. If it means that we, we walk 25 miles and it's pouring the rain outside and we're freezing, then you just make the best out of it. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new gift. You don't know what's going to happen. I love the walk. I, the, the scenery changes every day, and it's just like more and more breathtaking like every day. It's kind of exceeded my expectations. I didn't realize it'd be so beautiful. Camino is a lot better than I expected it would be. It's even more beautiful in person. They've been doing this well over 2,000 years. People have to think about the infrastructure that's been here for that long. And it's a way of life to support it. It's a way of life to walk it. America had a history starting in 1776, maybe 1620 if you go back as far as the pilgrims. This stuff goes back to Five and 600 AD, awesome. and it's astounding, it's amazing. They say that you go through three stages on the Camino, and um, a physical, a mental, a spiritual. The more exciting the history is the amount of faith on the walk. We met Korean Buddhists, Jewish people, yep. Christians, Muslims. It's just a beautiful thing. I mean, people are open, alive, accepting. It doesn't feel as uh, religious now that I'm here as part of it, but it's still awesome. If you hike the Appalachian Trail, you usually take on a persona. It's not so much here as a persona as just, he's Rick, I'm James. You get recognized. And you folks are going to be recognized for what you are. I kind of realized, like, sort of the family and community that's on the Camino. It's just like everyone feels like your brother and sister here. Everyone's kind of taking care of one another. It's like coming home to family every night. You're going to go hiking in to Najera. At the first coffee bar, I guarantee you there'll be somebody who saw you today. And they'll holler out, hola, hello, right? And go over and you'll hug. The one piece of advice I would give to another pilgrim just to come with no expectations. Don't come with expectations. Be open to opportunities. Be open to people and the things that you're experiencing and embrace them. Throughout the Camino you meet these people, you build these relationships and you hopefully give a part of your life to these people that they can hang on to. Uh, don't be hurry. But it's about that. You have to take a time to see the world, feel the world. Very important. You're going to get to the end of it and it's going to all work out. It's going to be okay. The history of the Camino is really made up of the individuals who walk it. It's not so much the purpose, the kind of almost like theological approach for why people travel the Camino. I think it's the fact that people do travel the Camino that makes the way what it is and makes it meaningful. It's the people every day traveling to seek answers and to resolve issues that, that makes the Camino meaningful. To the support you get uh, when something like this comes up, you do it. <laughs>